Hey everybody, today we are making pizza, gluten-free style. Hi everybody, I'm Shelly from Your Gluten-Free Companion. Today we are making pizza gluten-free style and we're using cassava, not the flour, actual cassava as an alternative. So everybody has cassava, it's easily accessible. You can just go to the market, supermarket, wherever you get your, your produce from, get that cassava, boil it. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't like the veins in cassava, so I devein mine, right? You boil it, salt or any seasonings that you like, you devein it, and then what we're going to do is mash it. Now, I, some people like to grate it. They just say grater, but it's really great. Some people like to grate theirs for consistency, but in terms of texture, I prefer to mash mine and just get a little bit of, uh, ready, Masha? <laughs> get a little bit of, you know, some muscle in there. <clears throat> because cassava tough, y'all. I didn't do push-ups this morning, so, y'all see any muscles? People think that, you know, for something to be gluten-free, it has to be, you know, um, taste less or flour, but anything can really be gluten-free. Sweet potatoes alone are gluten-free. Cassava by itself is gluten-free. And as you'll see, as we make the, the pizza, you know, you don't need a whole bunch of ingredients. Literally for this, you're just using the cassava and mashing it. You don't need yeast for rising or anything like that. A tip I would share is to not boil it too soft because when you are when you have your crust and you're holding it you don't want it to fall apart on you so just keep a little bit of firmness to your cassava and i think that's why i'm getting some serious muscles on my right hand side right now <laughs> because again when you lift that pizza up and you're sharing it with your friends you don't want it to be crumbling on you all right, so we've just completed mashing. My elbows are sore, y'all. My hands, like, I don't need to go to the gym today. I had a serious workout just now. All right, so now we're going to just get an egg and whisk it. The egg is going to be used to bind the cassava together. Again, we don't want it to crumble. And we whisk that egg nice and smooth. Pour it in. And seasonings of choice. It's pizza, so we're going with Italian seasonings today, uh, which would be oregano, rosemary, or rosemary, depending on where you're from. Uh, salt, chili powder, onions, and garlics. So just gonna put that in there, stir it up. Well, sometimes I find that, you know, people think gluten-free is just to be healthy. If you're a gluten-free companion, in me, that's not really the case. I am allergic to gluten. And gluten is really wheat, barley, and rye. Gluten is found in almost anything. It's found in beer. We live in Trinidad, so, you know, it's hard. It's really hard. Um, it's found in beer, it's found in soy sauce, simple things that you wouldn't think, bacon powder, you wouldn't think you'd find gluten in there, but it's right there. It's not hidden, it's actually in plain sight. All right, so we're just mixing that in because you want to have seasonings. And when you taste that crust by itself, you close your eyes, ooh, and you pretend that you're on some kind of a, a boat. What do you call those boats again in Italy, boy? Gondola. The gondola. You're on a gondola. Just enjoying it. All right, so now we're going to transfer this over to the pizza pan. Guys, y'all could just look at this and see the texture, right? It's not like regular 
um, pizza dough where you, you're kneading it and it's firm and you just, um, you know, roll it out. There's absolutely no rolling at this process. And it, generally with gluten-free items, you know, if there's no rolling, the things are, oh, I was talking too much. I forgot an important ingredient, olive oil. You want to make sure that your mixture is nice and moist and so that when you bite into it you can't tell the difference between this and regular pizza dough all right so you're going to transfer some of this on to your baking sheet or pizza pan oil on hands and you're spreading it Again, the texture of gluten-free items are, it's usually very different. Uh, you're not rolling it, so it's going to be very, uh, it's not runny or liquidy, but it's still not that hard or firm um, texture that you'd be accustomed to. So you oil your hands to prevent sticking, and then you spread it. You should set your oven to about 450 degrees and put it in for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's nice and brown or as you like it. I like thin crust, so we're gonna to try to get this as thin as possible. How do you like yours? All right. Ready for the oven. I'm gonna wash my hands. All right, so we have just baked the crust and it has a very nice golden brown to it and that's how you know it's done so even if you put it in for 20 minutes and you find it's not um brown like this you put it back in and this is how you want to get it make sure it's firm on both sides not just on one side now we're going to use it's a food special pizza sauce mm -hmm. <laughs> all right i like my pizza to be well, I like the sauce and be nice and um, when you bite into it, you're, you're seeing it, it, it. What is the right word, boy? It eluded me right now. So what we're going to do now is just add the mozzarella cheese and I sprinkle that on. Again, we're keeping with the Italian theme. So, Italian herbs and spices. Right in this cassava pie. My mouth watering all like honestly i'm trying to control myself hope yours is too time to bake this baby guys i wish y'all could be in here right now to taste this it smells so good and it probably tastes even better time to eat but before we do you're gonna just put some basil or basil on top because again we're in Italy baby you're in Italy with your gluten-free companion the time we have all been waiting for we want to get into this thing cutting time mm. y'all hearing that I got my life. You said you got yours. See this? Every single... Mommy, I'm sorry for talking with my mouth full. Every single flavor from the pepperoni 
to the sweet pepper so the onion just blending into this perfectly if you had if you had blindfolds on and somebody gave this to you you can't tell the difference and i'm not just saying it because i made it try it for yourself when we took it out of the oven you saw how the top looked before we applied the tomato sauce right but you didn't see the bottom guys this is the real deal and it's a healthier option especially for people who are watching their diet people who you have these root vegetables in your home probably just spoiling as you, you want to try something different that you don't know what to do pizza lasagna the possibilities are endless cookies if you y'all don't need to doubt the proof is right here in the pipe mm -hmm. <laughs> guys thank you for joining us today i had so much fun making my favorite food pizza with you check me out at your good and free companion on instagram and on facebook and Let's get acquainted, y'all. I am your companion and I'm here for you. Any tips, anything you need, I'm your girl. Have a good one.